If you've started learning about chemical equilibrium, this analogy should help you understand the concept a bit better. Let's say I have a wet towel that's sitting on a towel rack. So over time, we know that the wet towel will dry, and that is because the water that's on the towel, it will evaporate into gaseous water or water vapor. So when it does that, when all of this water evaporates, that's going to dry the towel. So that's actually not equilibrium. That's an example of a completion reaction. So if I was able to somehow seal the wet towel in some sort of closed container, that is what's going to help me undergo equilibrium. So for example, when the water evaporates into vapor, so that will still happen in the closed container, it's going to get stuck to this little paper bag or whatever, this plastic bag you have here, and the vapor will eventually kind of recondense or condense back into water, falling back onto the towel. So that will initiate the reverse reaction. When the forward reaction evaporation equals the rate of the reverse reaction condensation, that is what will allow equilibrium to occur. Equilibrium... And when this happens, if this was to happen in real life, this towel, it wouldn't actually dry. This would remain wet because the water would evaporate, but then it would just fall back down, keeping it in the state of dynamic equilibrium. So that's a good analogy to help you understand the concept. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching.